Today I thought I'd check out the accessory fitting tool. It's pretty cool. It's under the avatar tab and then we have accessory fitting tool. It is currently new. So if you go to these new things right here, I've been going through some of this stuff and checking it out. It says try this out. You can bring that up. I know you don't want to read documentation. That's why you're looking at a video. But I'll put the link in the description if you want to read that or comment on it or read the comments. And then I'll also put this link in because we need to download some stuff to try this out. So go to this website right here and now we're going to scroll down ah, and here you have some stuff that you can test out and, and even use. So let's click clothing. It's going to download it to my computer. It's a zip file, so I need to open it up. Let's go ahead and open it up. There we go. And I'll go ahead and do an extract all. Yeah, we'll just do it to the download, the download directory. Cool. I can close this. I'll just shrink it down. And then let's go to our Roblox Studio. And we can import something from there. I'll import like a t-shirt or something. Let's try that. We're going to go to our import 3D. All right, I get a file chooser that pops up and I am in my downloads directory, which is good. That's where my assets are. And it is additional FBX assets. Let's click that. And we got to go one level down. Let's see. They did the hoodie in the documentation. So maybe I'll do uh, cargo pants. I saw that in there. There's pants, cargo pants. Open that up. Click the FBX model. And here we go. I'll just keep all of these default. Hit import. And we're going to get our stuff imported. It's also in the toolbox or asset manager. All right, we'll hit close. Can we pull this up? There we go. I have the move on. That's why I was able to pull it up. All right. Now let's go to our accessory fitting tool. Click on that. And now we need a, a mesh part. So if you click this, sometimes it works, but sometimes it says invalid selection. You actually have to go to the mesh part, which is inside. Boom. There we go. Then we'll hit this next button. Cool. And this is clothing. But it's not like the pants and the shirt that you use for the classic Roblox. It's using accessories. So, or accessory uh, attachments. It's using attachments. So let's click clothing. Then we're going to have to select the type of clothing we want because this is going to create the proper attachments for fitting. So we're going to go here and then I got to look for pants. There we go. There's pants. And then you could use your avatar style. I'm just going to do classic. We'll hit next. And then we're going to get some sort of fitting thing. Click on this guy and left click to rotate. All right, that's pretty cool. And this stuff down here is to test to see what it would look like on different types. If you click on like bazooka bones here, it's not going to show up until you unclick this guy. So there's some, there's a few quirks in here yet. There we go. He's got his pants on. I'm, I'm left, I'm left or right clicking and dragging here and then click on the guy to rotate. That's pretty cool. But you can try different things out like the animation. If you want to do like a run to see how that looks. All right. So this isn't for changing anything. This is just for taking a look at it. If you want to change things, you're going to have to go over to, let me, let me stop that. To this cage thing, enable disable cage editing. And I was I was kind of disappointed with it. I, I wasn't able to really change anything, but maybe you guys can have some insights on that. If you go to change, if you want to have see less of this, use that, right? That's your that's your opacity for the mesh. And you have an inner and outer cage, which you could select this way. This is the outer cage. Let's go ahead and select a dot to see if we change anything. I, I wasn't able to change anything. Oh, I want to go back to my regular avatar and do my default. Perhaps, perhaps it doesn't let you go back. Here, we'll do the kid. Oh my God, there we go. And he's still running. All right, like I said, I'm just trying this out. So I don't know how a lot of this stuff works. I'm just going to put him on idle. 
Yeah, that'll 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 do all right. What does this do? Ah, we got a viewport. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I was hoping I'd be able to change some of this because it says minor editing for your cage stuff. Um, this thing here controls how much you want to change away from the point you select. So if I select a point, let's see if we can change something. Go to move. Ah, there we go. We got a point. And if I pull this out, I was hoping that would change, but it doesn't seem to. And it looks funny, right? You're supposed to be able to see the changes right away. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Put your comments in there. You could, you could see there's some problems with this already. But I think it's kind of cool because what you can do, let's assume we could change it. Somebody put something in the comments saying, hey, you're supposed to select one of these. Um, and then I didn't. But what's kind of cool is now you can just create the accessory to wear. Hit generate. And then this is being generated. Now you have two things in here. One of them is your pants. And then one of them is the asset that you are modifying. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. Delete. I'm going to close this. I'm going to pull a rig in here. Do a mesh rig. There we go. And then I'm going to put the pants on. Look at that. That's kind of cool. All right. So we got some pants on the rig. If we go to play it. He should have pants on. I mean, he's not running around or anything. But uh, I thought this was kind of a, a good introduction. Get you started. So you kind of know what to do. Remember, if you want your game to play, you have to put a shirt on or body colors, though, because Roblox will flag you for a shirtless dummy. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Let me know what you think of this and uh, put some comments in there if you have some ideas, what I missed or what would be kind of cool to show off.